Hey everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So you're probably thinking if uh, Oak Casket is worth a pull. So she currently is a, uh, she's currently in tier 0 0.5. Um, she's actually kind of slightly below Langley. But uh, let's see her kit overall and if you agree with that uh, tiering. So for her basic attack, so Oak Casket attacks with double guns dealing. 30% physical damage each time. Um, Langley actually uses one gun, uh, as, uh, but Oak Casket uses two. Next up is going to be her ultimate. So she has a ultimate where she has to move, moves to the grid and attacks all enemies within range, dealing attack 320% physical damage in total, can charge up to three times. So if you move her and she lands on a specific grid, then she deals damage to all of this area, which is actually unique versus Langley. Next up is her passive here. So for every uh, every energy point Casket has, her damage will be increased by 1.8%. So this one, the energy point is her buff until you use her energy point uh, for her ultimate. So this is a nice one because you can just keep on spamming her basic attack and dealing the, this damage so you don't really you use you use her ultimate when it's needed while you're not using her ultimate then she gains a lot of uh, damage increase uh through the energy point and the last one is also her passive every 15 seconds the damage of oak casket's next normal attack increased by 105 and regains six points of energy which complements her passive by the way so interesting kit. I think she's she has a she her kit is for me at first glance is going to be kind of identical to not identical but in terms of damage kind of identical only the damage. Um, her mechanics are quite unique for me. Um, all, although she doesn't have core break, but again the damage she can deal it's going to be massive, especially you if you level up her skills and um i think she she would be fun to use she is going to complement langley in your lineups both of them together in a lineup is going to be ridiculous guys so for her attack she has a sh slightly shorter range than langley just to consider that and for her shackles guys so um attack increase so this one, number two, is damage increased by 25%. The effect stops when she takes any damage and resumes when she doesn't take any damage within 10 seconds. So this is also a buff. So she has a lot of buffs to her damage, guys. And she has a cooldown here. The, the damage buffs are very important. So at least take her to two. This one, two is very good. Um, because when she doesn't take damage, um, damage increases by 25. So that is it for me. Um, what do I think of Oak Casket? If you do have Langley, um, and if you're saving up for somebody in your roster, like a roster spot that you need to fill in, uh, if you have Langley, she is not really a must pull. Um, if you don't have Langley and if you need a, a shooter, a shooter the shooter is a rectical so if you need a shooter if you don't have langley then she's a must pull a, again she's a very good complement to langley so even if you have langley it's nice still to pull her but it's not really a must uh langley is on her own right is actually good enough she actually complements uh langley in terms of damage so if you want to make sure that your roster is is ultimately good then you have to get casket uh, or casket if you already have langley so that is it guys so look forward to my summoning video and also look forward to my review and uh, not review my build guide for o casket which will come out in probably um in a few hours or probably two more so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here